Hey guys, this is uh, my monk. I'm back and I'm at Fear Out of Eye. Whoa, this thing is even level to me. I was just setting up my recording and I'm standing right in front of this snarler. I don't think I can attack or win against an even fight. But let's just fight since I'm already started. Man, my mouse is starting to run out of batteries, I think. It stops responding. Hey, you know what? I'm almost winning, but I used Mend already. I think if I had Mend at ready, I could have probably won this fight. I don't know. Let's go and feign death. So I'm going to run over to the coastal area. That's kind of where I fight. Pull them back. And we'll fight things a little bit more appropriate towards our level. Ah, he's coming back. Go away. Why do they do that? Sometimes they just come right back. Like it should have raced all the aggro. Why? That's annoying. So I just ran into one of Tofu's enchanters. He's level 46 enchanter. Just scoping things out for now. Okay, so yeah, I just came out here to start out leveling. I thought this would be a good place to solo level. And we ran to Zeldar. Check that out, oh, I got turned into a werewolf. <laughs> it's cool. And he said, check out my dexterity. Oh, wow. So now I have 250 dex. Let's go try it out. So yeah, um, wow, let me go try this out. So there's a proc on this. That's such a cool spell. And I did 150 damage, that's the most I've ever done. So this Boon of the Garo gives you some strength as well, I guess. Wow, this is so cool. Of course, we still have all of our monk abilities. Cool. Man, that's so nice. So let's pull a couple more. <laughs> it jumps funny. All right, let's find something else to pull. So this drove guard and snarler would be nice. Let's try it out. Yeah, uh, my previous max was 146. So with this buff, I did my max damage, new max damage. So without the any buffs, my max damage is more like 100 and, um, 146. So I've got a haste buff on too, so that's gonna help out a lot. And this dex is maxed out with some kind of life proc. I haven't seen it work yet, but yeah. I'm destroying these, and I'm 32% of the way through the level. There's 146 damage. So this is good. It's pretty cool having a, a werewolf form too. Let's kill a couple more of these, 34% of the way through the level. And men should be active eventually. Let's see what happens when I throw a weapon. Does it... He just makes like a growl so I've got a celerity buff too that's giving me a lot of haste and 62 life 62 percent so what I usually do is pull them back yeah I knew that was gonna happen that's fine so um, Valdar helped out. There's a proc! 23 points. Let's see. Let's give ourselves a bandage. Bind wound. We 
waiting for it to kick in. There's one. And then one more and I should be okay. 41% life. This is a green one, so we'll be totally fine. All right, let's jump in there. I should start pulling things back to the coast though. Start looking around in all directions. Yeah, my mouse battery's getting really out of it. Let's see how it stopped working. Wow, 37% of the way through the level. And these things you can start turning in, um, I don't know if I have to be in a certain form to do it. Let's sit down and rest a little bit. So good news, um, Tofu hooked me up with one of those um, greater light stones. And I've been looking for one of these to help me out with my videos. It's gonna help out with the lighting. Um, as a XR, I didn't have any way to really illuminate the ground around me, even though my name's Illuminator. So he's hooking me up this buff. Mend wound should be ready. I should have been using, um, I should have been squatting first, but I was talking to someone on my text message. It's Palm Sunday tomorrow. And I'm trying to balance out multitasking here. Let's see, I have to reply to a text. Afternoon and evening, what about you? Wow, 156 damage. So I better sit down. So Mind is active now, so I can use that, but let's bandage up first. I got to go on a couple bandages, maybe just two. Now I'm already up 51%, so let's do that and then I'll hit Mind. So this is good experience. It's 38% through the level now. And I've got these fangs, but turning them in might be a challenge. So we don't want to kill any of the things that are going to hurt my faction. This one right here can cons white to me. I don't know if I can do that. I might be able to do it with the celerity active, but that's going to be uh, super iffy. Pull all the way back. Here we go. And my mouse is not working already. So let's see. I need to figure out how to. I need to figure out which batteries I'm using. This mouse is out of it. I thought maybe with celerity I can handle this one. And I think he did a slow on it, so that's going to help me out. Perfect, because it was a white con. Tofu's helping me out through the levels. So um, if I decide not to get the OT mallet, I can go into Kaosara as a dungeon, and that would have been kind of like the area I was gonna do my solo self found stuff in. And I can also finish up in the next dungeon uh, down here. So one thing about down here is I never really completed all of it. All right, so let's start throwing up some bind wounds. Uh-oh. Come on, bandage. Wait for kick to be ready. I'll be able to still aggro. <laughs> He's doing barrel rolls. So yeah, I mean, he, he I've got to still aggro quickly. Oh, he'll be in trouble. 
Dang it. Maybe I should let him crowd control it. Maybe I should let him crowd control. There we go. I took aggro. Forty percent through this level. That's so crazy. Cause when I was last playing the other area and down there in the hell level, it was just so crazy slow. So let's go ahead and sit down. Start using bandages. So. Um, I can gain about two levels here. There's also an area that we can go to, the Mines of Nurga and Droga, Temple of Droga, Mines of Nurga. And um, th that's an area that once you start going into it, it's like a one way, one direction. You have to go down first and work your way completely around and get up. So that's something I have to consider. Same thing with Kiasara, you kind of get stuck down at the bottom and then you have to like fight your way back up. Oh, yeah, he invited me. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to sit here and rest for a bit. Okay, so we're not maxed out in life. We are close. Let's go ahead and do some pull. So I'm going to pull it and bring it back here. Oh, he's kind of running off. Yeah, let's get the blue one. You had to be running away. So what I usually do is just pull it, drag it back. Yeah, I'm gonna do some. We're gonna do some um, turbo warrior gameplay tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> just sort of sitting here uh, thinking about the videos I made. Like, there's some guy on the cliff over there just chilling. What's he doing? It's like dudes like sit on the very edge. That can't be very comfortable. Um, we are gonna ignore the tracker. The tracker actually is indifferent to us. Oh, that's probably because I'm like vamp. I'm a werewolf. All right here we go. Pull him back. Pull him back. This is the perfect spot. Let's see how we do. So we have celerity and that's helping out a lot. Can you tell how quick we are now? I think he's gonna throw up the werewolf again one more time. Yeah. It is a cool proc. Man, if this if you had a, like a permanent item to turn you into a werewolf. I know there are some, but not with all these cool buffs, because like my dexterity is 250 now. Let's see. What's next? No, we're not gonna fight the pirates. Yeah, we can fight the pirates. I mean, I don't know if this is a faction I need to worry about. But I don't wanna turn my back to these guys because they can backstab.
Oh, that was a proc I did. The, it was set for nine. Yeah, these things are weird weapons. They're fine still, but you can't really sell them. All right, let's pull him back. He's a blue. That's fine. We can handle it. We'll be about 50% life with this one. So I'm getting a lot of double hits now. And that's... I guess it's a heal. It's some kind of progress. It, says it was hit for 23 points and he staggers. And he gave me Rampage. What the heck is Rampage? We have 192 strength. Whoa. Look at all those misses. Bronze Greaves, I can't loot them because I'm a monk. It'll just kill my AC. What should we pull? I mean, these Drolvgars are pretty nice. Um, let's check our, I want to see our faction on one of the good guys. I think I could turn in things if I'm a werewolf. Oh, I shouldn't take a blue on. I mean, a white on. If men becomes ready, we can probably do it. It's kind of iffy though. Yeah, that's iffy. We shouldn't try. Who's fighting it? Oh, the pilgrim. So what I'll do is I'll take on the winner. Now I, I don't want to take a pilgrim on, but I'm going to take the Drovgar Snarler because he's going to win this fight. So we'll just pounce on him at the very end. So 79% to 81. Yeah, it's close though. And in the meantime, I'm getting mend ready. Man, he might be taking too long though. Uh oh, there's a pirate. We'll do the pirate. Yeah, I'll do the pirate. Oh, he's got me spinning. Uh oh, let's pull it back. <laughs> it's getting a little risky over here. They're coming right for me. He's coming this way. So yeah, the experiment we were going to think about trying if I would have had my Master Wu's trans sticks and if I had this buff on, that would put me at 250 decks and we would see how frequently that the Master Wu's trans sticks would, would uh, proc. So I wish I had my Master Wu's trans sticks so we can try out that experiment, kind of test how much does dex really play into proccing weapons so that's how i usually do it i mean you can read the forums and people can tell you kind of what happens but i think the best way is just to test it out yourself in game run a little test okay snarler always run out of diagonal because it gives you a tiny bit of extra speed Prevents you from getting hit when you're running back to your pull spot. This is about right. So, movies tomorrow. Um, probably going to the movie theater. Going to go out with someone. See a movie. Maybe Ghostbusters or something. I don't know. See if my sister is up for a movie. I've already seen Dune 2, which is pretty good. All right.
right. You know, I've noticed I haven't got any music playing. I usually play music while I'm playing this game. Let's get on some cyber. There we go. Gets me kind of in the mood. Melee mood. 53%. There's another person out there. That's kind of cool. They just sit there in that pose. He's tracking or something. All right, so I did join a group one time when we were out here. There was a monk that had Spirit of Wolf on and he was grabbing these Snarlers and pulling them back to the group. We had an Enchanter. And we had a druid, and we had myself, I was Shadow Knight, and it was a pretty fun time to say. My mouse isn't working. There it goes. So about every 30 seconds, it seems like my mouse stops responding. I have to change the battery tonight. It kind of looks like um, my old warrior, Ruku, the dwarf warrior. He's kind of got that look to him. I'm, saying all dr I'm not saying all dwarves look alike, but he's got that look. Could be related. We need to turn that down. That music's loud. If you guys seen that movie, Not the Roxbury, he's like, one of them's tall and the other guy's short, and they're like, Are you brothers? And they're like, No. Yes. That was a good movie. Not at the Roxbury. Okay, sorry if how. Whoa! 165 damage. That is by far max hit. We're getting rich. So when the ones, the ones that are um, running through like the South Karanas and the North Karanas, they kind of do like a little loop, 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 real slowly. Pirate cartographer. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go in third person view. First I gotta target them. So when I hit her, she's gonna make that oof human sound. Crack. It's like bones crackling. Oh, I debuffed. Now you can see me in all my glory in the blue pajamas outfit, ninja. Uh oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my outfit. Fifty-six percent. Let's see what we get. They give me a full percent. Scribbled note. He's, oh, oh, he's getting. We took aggro away. We saved you. Took if we were safe. I'm sure Tofu could handle these on his own. So. The question now is where do we want to level for the next level? I'm going to be 37. So at 37, I'm not strong enough yet for like Carnor's castle, for grouping. Uh, we're, I don't know if we're ready for City of Mist. That's more like 45-ish, I think. So, I mean, I could run over and do some Mistmore stuff. We've seen plenty of Mistmore content though. I can solo out of here. We can probably go to low, I don't know, think I'm ready for lower guck. 
Lord Gux still too high for us. Um, Kesara is probably something we can check into. But again, you lose faction with the OT outpost people. You have to make sure you're not going to want that faction. Let's see, where else can we go in this game? Thinking of dungeons, there's Kazakh Fool, of course. We can kill Reapers on Oasis, maybe. We can look towards Giants. In the West Karanas, there's Goon and Prune. And then there's those uh, Ogre people. I'm looking to fight in those guys. Who else can we fight? We can probably fight Avisets in the South Karanas. For sure we can do that. Probably not Reapers and Oasis yet. Um, hmm. There's Soul... Soul A maybe at the very bottom of it. We can do that. There's... We're too high for an agenda, I think, at this point. And let's see, what other dungeons is there in this game? Permafrost. Can we do permafrost? I bet we could do permafrost. But that's not a very popular place to go. Probably for good reason, you know. Where else can we go? Thinking about the continent in this game. We can go down. We might be too high level for the high keep goblin basement area. Mistmore is definitely a place we can go. It's like the mid-level. Carnors and City of Mist. You know, there's those. Kesara and Dalnir. Mines of Nurga. Or, or the Temple of Droga and the Mines of Nurga is probably what we're going to do next. Let's talk to Tofu and kind of see what he thinks about those leveling areas. Yeah, so I was just talking to, um, we're just talking with uh, Tofu, planning the next video. Thinking Minds of Nurga, let me know what you guys think if anybody's watching this video to the very end and you're thinking, hey, that sounds like a cool idea. We talk about Dreadlands and the ADKs, we could do that. Yep, Tofu's calling it a night. So yeah, it's getting late. It's almost 11 p.m. I've got work to do still. But you know, work takes second priority after EverQuest. That's the rules. Dude, we did 160 damage. It's crazy. And we loaded a pearl. I think 160 is like the max. So while we still have this buff, let's pull a couple more if we can. Um... So that was kind of the idea. Mines of Nurga, Temple of Droga, Frontier Mountains area. We have the Dreadlands, Yeti Caves, City of Mist on the horizon, Lower Guck on the horizon, Kazakh Duel's possibility, Permafrost, maybe, Hill Giants or West Karanas. We got those um, Ogre people. Could always try that, I guess, you know. Uh, Reapers and Oasis. I'm trying to think of what else is there. There's Mistmore. We've done so much Mistmore. There's Unrest. We could probably do the like the top rooms. Yeah, we can go do Unrest, like the, the main room at the tower. And there's the basement. Hey, let's do the basement of Unrest. Unrest basement. That would be a good idea. Yeah, I should have brought that up with uh, Tofu, kind of. But I could just research it and see what, what level of range would be good for that. If we're there, I don't want to miss content because I'm leveling too much over here. Hope I didn't take his spot, but he's just been chilling on there, the edge. So to save this buffs, I'm actually going to end the video here since we're 30 minute long video. And um, I'm going to do a little thinking tonight and planning out my next video but I'd like some input with you guys you know what do you guys want to see
there is some places over on Otis as well, that continent, um, beyond the Warrens. What's that place called? Not Is it Stonebrunt Mountains? There might be some areas in Stonebrunt Mountains we can do. There's the Emerald Jungle as well. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Emerald Jungle. So tell me if you guys can figure out good spawns. Have a great night, everyone. This is going to go up on the weekend, Palm Sunday. So take care and uh, have a good night.